Today, I want to discuss the fix, the fix, and how it's hurting your progress over health anxiety. You know, if you've subscribed to the Anxiety Guy YouTube channel, you know that I made a video about the fix a little while back. Today, I just want to add on top of this. Now, what is the fix? The fix is the health anxiety sufferer looking for reassurance in the outside world based around the sensations and the symptoms that they're feeling in their inside world. So they may go up and have a specific and consistent support person, whether that be the wife, the husband, the friend, whatever it may be. And it's become a habit, it's become habitual to ask that person whether in fact a symptom could be related to anxiety or if it's related to something more serious, whether they should get it checked out, if they ever experienced it, and so on and so forth. The majority of the forums today online, the groups online, are dedicated to exactly this, keeping an, an anxiety sufferer in the cycle of sensitivity. You get the fix, you get your reassurance, temporarily you feel better, and then after a short amount of time, things get worse. Now, symptoms of anxiety, most of the time, are a reflection of experiences from the past that have led to your sensitized state. Warrior, the way the world makes you see these symptoms is in a way where there may be something physically wrong with you, when in fact, it's a deeper underlying challenge related to a time where you froze in your life, where you felt helpless, and you couldn't express yourself. Do you remember those times? Or a time in your life where your expectations weren't met and you felt lost and disconnected. This can lead to dissociation. Think about it like this. Think about a full bag of stuff that's weighing you down, that you carry around 24-7. Well, the bag is your body. The stuff is repressed emotions and energetic blockages in your body. And it keeps you from believing your logical mind, which says you are healthy. Now, here's what I want you to do. I urge you to look deeper than just towards a physical issue that's wrong with you. Looking for the fix will only hinder your long-term progress. The pain of a long-term commitment to a method that will desensitize you from the outer world must be experienced and fully accepted. This is absolutely essential in your health anxiety healing journey. Moving away from the fix number one, moving towards a long-term committed plan around a method such as CBT or NLP that works. Now remember this, in the moment of needing the fix, remind yourself of how getting it will only keep you further from desensitization. The response in that moment should come with a combination of focusing on facts that support your good health and experiencing and being one with them rather than reacting to the sensation and a behavior that opposes what you normally do. You must look for the facts first that support your good health. You must be one with the sensation rather than reacting in a catastrophic and frantic manner. Easier said than done, I know, but again, we're talking about conditioning this in. And we must behave in a way that's different than how we normally behave in that situation. An example would be, instead of avoiding something, we move towards it in a systematic manner. Remember, countering the fix comes with a clear vision of who you want to become. 
warrior, you must model yourself behind what you want your new identity to be each and every day. Small baby steps is the goal. Health Anxiety Show quote of the day. When you're looking for something wrong in everything, you will find it. Remember, you are more than anxiety. I'll see you in the next podcast episode. Bye-bye.